Okay, so Clone Stamp has added some nice little color variations, especially in the ear, some texture variations. And I can use Dodge and Burn. To bring those out a little bit, like bring out some of that texture in the ear. I'm going to unlock the bodies, the body and the head groups now. And I'm going to use clone stamp and erase to kind of fix some of these transitions. but you want to know where they're coming from. So basically I need more of this golden fur to come down. So I'm going to go to my clone stamp layer, I'm going to unlock it. I'm going to make it a little bit more targeted here and a little bit sharper, but not, so only like 30% hard. And I'm going to make it 100%, this is on the clone stamp layer. And I'm going to bring that golden fur down, kind of cover up that sharp edge. Let's see. Oh, I have clone stamp on only soft light. So you can always have an additional clone stamp layer too. So I have the bottom clone stamp layer on a soft light setting. But on top of that, I can make a new blank clone stamp layer on a normal setting. I'll mark this one orange. It's my clone stamp copy. And then I can more directly change this stuff. Because keeping it on soft light makes it really subtle. And I want some of this dramatic lion fur to be able to transition with. Okay. And then I can just gently <coughs> blend it with my eraser. Soft edge to lower opacity. That yeah, looks okay. Okay, let's see, what else do we need? So, once you've kind of completed those steps and you're happy with it, the next thing to do is to just cut it out completely. And I'm trying to decide how much of that, that rear end mushroom I still want. Maybe just a little bit less. But I don't want to get rid of it completely. But these textural transitions are kind of the hardest part. So let me dodge and burn. Hmm. I'm going to try burning the highlights down instead of just erasing or before erasing.
I think that can work. All right, so this is my advice for how to go for your final cleanup. First, I've treated the head as one group and the body as another. And you can see the clone stamps kind of floating above. I can take that whole head group and then do image um, transform, like command T. And this is the benefit is I can tilt it, adjust it, change it, maybe squeeze it onto the head a little bit or onto the body a little bit tighter. And you can decide if yours needs any of that. And that can help with some transitions as well. What I can't do is I can't do a, a color and lighting adjustment to the whole head until I merge it together. So without cutting it out, what I'm going to do is make a duplicate of the head group by doing Command J, turning off the one behind it, and then right clicking on the group and saying Merge Group. And that will turn the group into one layer. So now the head is one layer. And that allows me to go to Adjustments and play with the levels. Here I want to limit the highlights a little bit. Just a little. And maybe brighten it overall. And then I, now I want to go to color balance. Shift the midtones a little bit more towards the cool side. It's still a lot of blue in there. And the shadows as well. See the highlights, a little bit more red. And a little less yellow. There's just so much yellow in that lion. Okay, now the same thing for the body. I'm going to take the group, duplicate it. Turn the eyeball off and the group underneath, and then right click on the, the copy of the group and say merge it together. So it's one layer. And then I can go in with levels and treat it all as one, like limit the highlights. Maybe lighten it up overall a little bit. I can also do things like dodge and burn it where it's all the layers together now in the body. I can also do something where if I turn off the background, you'll see I have an undercut here, a place where I didn't have enough overlap. And I have it there too, where I have transparency. And the thing is, when I have middle gray behind it, it looks good. Especially if I burn that middle gray a little bit with my burn tool. So how can I get that middle gray behind the body? Well, this is how. Turn off all my other layers just so you can see it. So here's my body. Here's the, the background layer. I can use my magic wand, with contiguous turned on, to select the empty space around my merged body layer. Then I can go to the background and I can say select inverse, and then duplicate. And now I have a shape of my creature as a middle gray background that then my, my body can go on top of. And that fills in that little gap for when I completely cut it out. It also makes me think I need to adjust my 
let's just try auto tone. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. The brightness and darkness of it. And now that looks pretty good. It just needs to be all cut out. And what's great is I can turn the group uh, on below it. And then if there's anything I want to kind of delete, I can do that and I have the resources underneath. But let's turn clone stamp back on because that's the, the easiest way to make some of these fixes. So little things that look a little awkward. I can clone stamp on my clone stamp layers. And fix those at either high opacities or low opacities. Remember, this is non-destructive because it's on a layer floating on the top. Okay. And of course, I can use dodge and burn. Gonna make it a little bit stronger, but still less, 30 or less. And try to help the, the seaming of this anatomy a little bit, putting a shadow underneath the head. Figuring out where I want to cut it up. And then using clone stamp to cover things up you don't want. And to help transition. I can take that head combined group and I can burn the bottom edge of it. And except for what's clone stamped on top, that should all blend pretty well. But I can also burn that clone stamp. Oops, not erase. Burn. Just all this control. You use it where you need it. Here is an, an instance where I want to use the sponge tool because it got too colorful right there. So I use sponge on desaturate. Make sure I'm on the right layer and I can take that bright orange down. Here's a place I can use the sharpen tool on the head. Now that they're all merged together, all these different opaque layers, transparent layers, I can treat them all the same because I merged the group. What if I want to make the, uh, the tongue a little bit brighter? Well, I can use the sponge tool and put it on saturate. Get a little bit more color to the tongue there or the eye to brighten that up, or the ears. So the sponge tool doesn't add pixels, just like dodge and burn, it just augments what's there. So I can get a little bit more pink and color in those ears, it can be interesting. Good, okay, so now I'm ready to cut it out. So let's save the work.